Neo Stock News Today. Price Predictions 2021. Is Neo a buy, sell, or hold? Have you ever been surprised when the price of a company such as Neo is soaring high without any particular reason? This is usually happening because many institutional investors are aggressively trading Neo backwards and forwards among themselves. So if you are curious to know about the price predictions of Neo stock, then watch our video until the end to get more shocked about it. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more super awesome content on money. Welcome back guys with another informative and surprising news today. We are going to talk about Neo stock price predictions and technical analysis of them. Also, if you are curious whether Neo is now buy or not, then you'll get all the answers today. We will try to analyse some ups and downsides of Neo and its future. So let's get started. But if you're new to it and don't know what Neo is, then let's take a brief look at its history. All you need to know about Neo. Neo Incorporated is a holding company. Neo Limited designs, manufactures and sells electric vehicles in the People's Republic of China, Hong Kong, the United States, the United Kingdom and Germany. The company offers amazing 5, 6 and 7 seater electric SUVs. Moreover, it is also involved in the provision of energy and service packages to its users, marketing, design and technology development activities, manufacture of e-powertrains, battery packs and components, and sales and after-sales management activities. That's not it. The company in addition offers charging solutions, including PowerHome, a home charging solution, PowerSwap, a battery swapping service, PowerMobile, a mobile charging service through charging trucks, Public Charger, a public fast charging solution, and Power Express, a 24 hour on demand pickup and drop off charging service. Further, it provides value added services such as statutory and third party liability insurance, and vehicle damage insurance through third party insurers, repair and routine maintenance services, courtesy car services during lengthy repairs and maintenance, and roadside assistance, as well as data packages. Neo Limited has a strategic collaboration with Mobile NV for the development of automated and autonomous vehicles and collaboration agreements with various manufacturers for the manufacture of ES8, a six or seven seater high performance electric SUV. Formerly, the company was known as Next EV Incorporated and in July 2017 changed its name to Neo Limited. Neo Limited was founded in 2014 and is headquartered in Shanghai, China. Neo's legal structure. It is pretty obvious that Neo has a complex organizational and legal structure. After the company nearly went bankrupt in early 2020, it received a bailout from the government of Hafei, Anhui province. Neo was forced to contribute its assets, intellectual property and cash to a holding company shown below as Neo Holding Co Limited as part of this agreement. The Hafei government and strategic investors associated with it invested cash into that holding company in exchange for a 24% equity stake and certain shareholder rights. Over the course of the past 10 months, Neo has worked to repurchase the minority stake owned by those strategic investors and as of this date, currently owns 90% of the NEO holding company, as detailed in a recent 6K. But do you know why this is important? The answer is twofold. The inability of management to successfully manage liquidity, which necessitated a bailout and dilution of the existing equity base, should give investors pause. Second, Neo Inc., the publicly listed company, only owns 90% of what investors may think of as Neo. Therefore, at a current market cap of $93.5 billion, investors are actually presumably underwriting the Neo Holding Co. Limited business at a valuation of over $100 billion. Neo Stock Technical Analysis According to MarketSmith chart analysis, after a failed breakout passed, a 57.30 buy point in February shares remain below the 50-day line. Neo stock extended losses 9% to 45.07 on March 2nd, after mixed earnings and a warning about the automotive chip shortage. 
For most of 2020, the relative strength line for NEO stock rose sharply, but then unfortunately is starting to lag. So what does it mean? A rising RS line means a stock is outperforming the S&P 500 index. On the 6th of September 2018, NEO stock went public. In late 2019, it hit a low of 1.19 on sales and cash woes. The company staged a strong rebound in 2020, along with China EV sales. Shares earn a superior IBD composite rating of 80 out of 99. The rating combines key fundamental and technical metrics in a single score. An unbeatable 99 RS rating well exceeds the 80 or higher that investors in top growth stocks would want to see. NEO's accumulation distribution rating of B plus reflects moderate buying by institutional investors over the past 13 weeks. As it is pretty obvious that NEO is well traded, with decent institutional backing, 677 funds own shares as of December, up 25% from September. In fact, do you guys know, according to the IBD stock checkup tool, NEO shows eight quarters of rising fund ownership. Market analysis. Generally, NEO lags on key earnings and other fundamental metrics. It's undoubtedly a young and fast-growing company still looking to turn a profit. NEO stock earns an EPS rating of 51 out of 99 and an SMR rating of D on a scale of A plus to a worst E. The EPS rating compares a company's earnings growth versus other companies. The SMR rating measures sales growth, profit margins and return on equity. NEO delivered a wider than expected loss for the fourth quarter on March the 1st. NEO lost 14 cents a share as revenue more than doubled to $1.02 billion. Quarter over quarter, NEO saw vehicle margins expand and cash nearly double. While earnings remain elusive, losses are narrowing. Analysts expect NEO to par losses to 41 cents per share in all of 2021 from 66 cents in 2020. According to Zach's investment research, revenue is seen nearly doubling to $4.89 billion in 2021. China's Tesla warned of slower growth as a shortage of chips hits EV production for the current quarter. While NEO's Q4 results were mostly in line, it outlined a very real path to a milestone 100,000 deliveries in 2021, Deutsche Bank analysis said in a March 2nd note. For context, NEO delivered 43,728 EVs in 2020 and 20,565 in 2019. With demand growing rapidly driven by brand awareness and consumer sentiment shifting, we believe NEO is on track to be a market leader in the China premium segment, analysts Edison Yu and Emmanuel Rosner wrote, backing a 70 price target on NEO stock. Earlier, the global chip shortage hit Volkswagen VWAGY, production in China, as well as General Motors GM and Ford F. Here in the US, Tesla briefly halted Fremont plant production due to chip shortages, CEO Elon Musk said last week. Four analysts on Wall Street rate NEO stock a buy, four have a hold, and none has a sell per Zax. Story coverage note for NEO The number of cover stories for NEO depends on current market conditions and NEO's risk adjusted performance over time. The coverage that generates the most noise at a given time depends on the prevailing investment theme that NEO is classified under. However, while its typical story may have numerous social followers, the rapid visibility can also attract short sellers who usually are sceptical about NEO's long-term prospects. So, having above-average coverage will typically attract above-average short interest, leading to significant price volatility. Is NEO stock a buy now? Well guys, if you look into it from a fundamental perspective, then you can see that financial condition of NEO is improving after debt and liquidity fears slammed shares. While delivering huge top-line growth, NEO is paring losses. Let me tell you that the outlook for NEO sales and overall EV sales seems robust. After robust sales in China, NEO's plans to expand internationally promises more runway for growth. Major Wall Street firms also view its battery innovations positively. 
Similar to Tesla and China's BYD, NIO may become a battery play as much as an EV stock. But as you guys know, the EV wars are heating up as legacy auto and tech giants ramp up or get into the game. And the chip supply crunch will curb NIO's growth plans. From a technical perspective, the white hot China EV stock failed a breakout past a 57.30 buy point. After a strong rally last year, now its RS line is lagging, NEO stock is not a buy right now. Investors could look for it to retake the 10 week line or wait for a new base to form. So that's all from our side. What are your views on it? Do you like our predictions? If yes, then support us by liking our video. And if you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel Money Talks for more amazing news and everything about money. Stay tuned and see you soon. Thanks for watching.